Good morning. It's Wednesday, November 1st, 2023. This is your Georgia WeatherNet morning update. Skies are clear this morning. No precipitation to worry about, but we do have cold temperatures as we've been talking about. We have those uh, temperatures in the low 30s in parts of North Georgia, some 20s in there as well, 32 in Canton. It is 30 over in Carrollton, 37 down in LaGrange. But you can see the temperatures are still fairly mild in southeast Georgia with those 50s, even 63 in Brunswick. So the cold front has not completely moved through the state of Georgia. We're going to continue to see that frontal boundary uh, dip down to the southeast. So we're going to see those cold temperatures all across Georgia tonight, sub-freezing once again tonight for a good part of the state and 30s down in South Georgia. You'll see that on your local forecast coming up in just a second. But temperatures will rebound fairly quickly in the southern part of the state. A little bit slower to rebound uh, in North Georgia. So it is still going to be chilly over the next few days. Let's take a look at the modeling. Today's big story will be the wind as well, along with the uh, cool temperatures. will be windy as we move through the day with those wind gusts 30 miles per hour easily uh, throughout the state of Georgia. We head into the afternoon hours. Still quite breezy, mostly sunny skies. And uh, we'll head into the afternoon hours, also pretty quiet as well. And still going to see that breeze kicking up. Looks like things are going to start to calm down around Augusta. That's going to be toward the center of the high-pressure air mass. But still a good breeze uh, through Atlanta, Gainesville, and over in the winder. Overnight tonight, things are still going to be pretty quiet. Going to set up a little bit more of a zonal pattern. So that's going to calm the wind down just a bit. Still looks a little breezy in South Georgia. But mostly clear skies overnight tonight. And cold temperatures once again. We move through your Thursday Things are fairly quiet, some increasing clouds along the coastline, but maybe a shower or two uh, will start to creep in toward Kingsland by about 7 o'clock Friday morning. And then as we move through the afternoon hours, just a slight chance of uh, showers on the coastline. But other than that, I think we stay pretty clear through the day on Friday. We need the rain. We are in drought conditions over a good part of the state. Extreme drought in northwest Georgia, so we could use that rain. Unfortunately, we're not going to get it. And we didn't really get much rain at all out of the frontal passage yesterday, which uh, was not a big surprise. But, uh, yeah, it doesn't look like any rain in the immediate future. Maybe some showers popping back up across the state of Georgia as we head into Tuesday, Wednesday of next week. But for right now, it's going to be clear and cold. That's the latest from the Georgia Weather Net. Now your local forecast from northwest Georgia to southeast Georgia.